Hi guys. We are going to do just to get ready with me. Um, here it's back to brownish, uh, and just play with some makeup because it's been a bit. My kid has my tripod, so propped up against a pair of tweezers and a keyboard. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Caffeine is life. Caffeine is needed. So I'm gonna start with skincare, obviously, and then go from there. You're gonna see a lot of my fat hands and my fat fingers, and that's okay. So they opened up a Dollar General near me, which, <laughs> fun fact, um, most of everything in there is like five bucks. So you're gonna see me some use some stuff. This one is an oldie but goodie. This I, I freaking love. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. Oh my god, it's, I could use this just by itself because it just it feels so refreshing. Cucumber to me is always refreshing. It does have a pretty aggressive spray. Um, but I don't care because I, I love the scent of it. And I just kind of rub that in all the places. We're going to be using a couple different things today for skincare. Some, um, what we've done for ever. Well, not forever. <sighs> I would say a few months. If you see this, this is a posture thing because, um, I don't have good posture and I need to have better posture because my back is like big F you. It's a big F you. This is the Neutrogena. Hydro Boost Water Gel Hyaluronic Acid. So, even though it has a slight fragrance to it, because again, when I got it, I got it the wrong kind. Um, I don't, I don't mind it. it. Smells very clean, like fresh spring water. If that is that even a thing that makes sense? I don't know. I don't know. Let that sit in for a minute. I have a couple things. Um, this one actually came in my boxy charm, and I've been playing with it, and I really like it. It's a mud mask. Maybe I'm not using it right. Well, it helps if the instructions aren't freaking. That's during the day or night. Yeah, I'm using it fine. Um, so this is a vitamin infused eye serum. Reduces dark circles, which it absolutely has. Um, moisture boost, vitamin boost, feeding, nourishing, firming. So definitely firming. If you can see my fucking, sorry, freaking uh, sunken in eyes. I don't know if it's placebo or not, but I think it does. So this came in the base box, boxy charm, I believe. I usually squirt, that's enough for two, uh, probably more than enough for two, but it's the amount I usually am able to get out, and then I just rub that in, rub-a-dub-dub, rub-a-dub-dub, I really focus it here, because that's where the hollowest points are, I guess you would say, I don't know words, guys, if you know me, you know that that's to be true, I, I don't know words, I make shit up. That's why I am also at my work known as freestyle. Not because I make shit up, but because I I I be, go to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys can tell a difference. I can tell a difference. Um, let me see if I can bring you closer. Sorry again, my kid jacked my tripod. So, I mean, it, it for me, it does look a bit tighter there. And it, I don't know. Like I said, it could be a placebo. I hate my, um, I give you the finger on my camera. I'm sorry. I really hate my sunken in eyes. Not my eye shape. Um, well, my eye shape, that's the whole thing. Uh, that's a whole video in it of itself. I have, like, semi-hooded eyes. I'm, I'm grateful because they're not completely, you know, hooded. But, mm, I'm not a fan of my eye shape. Not a fan at all. And then I have one eye that behaves very well. And this eye, that guy is like, fuck you. We, we ain't doing that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Couldn't ruin that makeup look in 2.5 seconds. 
I'm sorry if you hear my door open. My cat's an asshole today. Straight up asshole. Um, so I've been doing better with skincare at night, like washing my face and stuff. I have, again, Dollar General. I found a, um, a CeraVe, um, high moisturizing face wash. So it doesn't feel like a face wash, like a foaming one. It just, it, it literally feels like Vaseline oils and stuff going on my face. So I wash my face first. I use the clean and simple watermelon one. I don't care. I know that the people say it's bad. I understand that. But for my skin, my skin loves that. And it feels so refreshing afterwards. Um, the last couple of times I washed it, I've done the um, same simple clean watermelon um, face scrubber thingy with the things that abrasive. I have no words either today. Um, I don't do that all the time, but I my, my face has felt off the last couple days I'm like okay we're, we're definitely gonna do that again and then I put that on after that and wash it again and then I put on a, there was a it was a um, Neutrogena deep hydrating all over kind of lotion for face and body and I put that on that's what I've been doing the last couple nights and it's been really good um, but for my overall face because she had dry bitch I just I there's lots of moisture that has to be had um, has to be had otherwise I have no chance of anything none none whatsoever so this is the um Pond's dry skin cream facial moisturizer uh, rich hydration stuff like that yes it has old lady smell absolutely has old lady smell um but I don't mind that because it works well with my skin except for my nose because nothing no matter what I do Nothing sticks to my nose. My hands were clean before I started this. Nothing sticks to my nose. My daughter helped me find my e.l.f. putty primer because I lost it for a couple weeks. And I was like, motherfucker, I need that because, oh my god, my pores on my nose and right here are ridiculous. And um, the regular primer stuff works fine, but it doesn't cover those areas. And I find that... Um, I have really dry right here and, uh, foundation and stuff, they just won't stick there. And when it does stick there, it's like a matter of minutes before it's gone. And what's left is this dry cake like flower bullshit that I'm like, ew, <laughs> I'm so glad I wear glasses because they sit right there and it doesn't draw a focus to that part of my face because it's just, you see my glasses. Glasses are good for a few things. No, I'm just saying. Just saying. Another thing that I've been really into. This was in the beauty box. Or the boxy charm. I don't know if this was in the base box. Or the premium box. I think it was the base box. But it is a lip oil. And I have all this shit on my hands. I can't open it. Yes I have a black bra on. Yes it's fine. Yes, that's toothpaste right there, but this is honestly going to be an undershirt, so I don't care. I don't care. So, this is just a lip oil. I threw away the box, of course, but it is full of good stuff for you. I would not say wear this under, like, a lipstick. Um, it does change the texture and formula. I um, tried the ABH liquid lipstick yesterday. And, uh, that, that, that was dry. That dried down so mad my lips were screaming to get it off. It was very uncomfortable. Very like dry cement. Dry paint. It was awful. But I tried it again before. You know I'm like okay. I tried that under it. Uh, no it straight. Felt like petroleum jelly on my lips. And it was so gross. Don't do it. Don't do it. We're going to be playing with a few things today. Um, that came in the boxy charm. Just because cause I want to. Because I can. Just just because I want to. That's, let's be honest. I do what I want. Um, that's a true story. I do what I want. Hold on one second. That's right. I have allergies and they're kicking my ass. So I let that marinate for a minute. And then I just usually do my um, eyes first. But with this eyeshadow palette, I really haven't had any fallout. So I... It doesn't matter for me what order I do it in. So we'll do this order since we're here. 
I said, it helps with my nose and such because I hate the pores on them. And I know it's my fault. I know I haven't taken the best care of my skin, so 100% know that that, that is 100% my fault. So, true story, don't fall asleep with your makeup on. Um, wash your fucking face. Wash your face. Like, your face needs it because dirt and stuff. Yeah. True stories. Okay. Of course, I'm not prepared. I never am prepared. Just life of the, life of the, the beauty of the beast here. Look. Um, I got, so I was excited for the Dollar General. Um, I could have spent more than what I did. We will not discuss what I spent there. It's not a dollar. <laughs> but I got the foundation finally. I absolutely love this foundation. I, it's like your skin but better. And I really, I enjoy that. This is just my, um green hair there so this is elf it's a glow primer stick it's coconut and shea butter and i just i really enjoyed it shrub a dub dub all over the face i usually put that on first but i forgot i forgot because i was so excited for my poreless primer i forgot You'll find that is a nature of the thing. I'm gonna use this uh, sponge that came in the boxy charm. This was in the definitely the base box. Um, they, I, I, this one, I freaking love it. I haven't used the other ones yet, but I wanted this one for the shape of it because it just, I, mm, it's good. It's a flat bottom. I don't have a flat bottom, but that does, and it's really good. I'm gonna let that chill out for a minute before I put on my foundation. Drink some more coffee. Call it good. Hopefully this video is finding you well. It's just because I wanted to. No other reason. No other reason. I've wanted to for a while actually, but I um haven't, obviously. I just I don't know, I've been in a weird mood. Um, like very lethargic, very uh I don't fucking wanna do nothing. I don't know. And I'm usually, I'm, I'm the first to admit I'm a lazy ass bitch. Lazy. I do my chores because I'm an adult and I have to. Laundry literally is the never ending story. Um, that's what I usually do on Saturdays. So I will be doing that today as well. Uh, definitely cleaning my kitchen because of you. Just you. But, I don't know. I just, I've been in a mood. I've wanted to play with makeup and I have. Don't get me wrong. I've played with makeup. Um, I've got more makeup in the last two months than I have. 2021 so I, I didn't buy that much makeup this I bought makeup last year yes I did but um the pistachio palette came back in from BH Cosmetics and I've waited two years for that fucking palette and I was like uh no I have to have that that for me is a must it's a green fucking eyeshadow palette which hello uh, green is my color if you're new here I'm Chrissy and I like green um there should be a green support group green and purple I would be the founding members um, I got another palette. I haven't tried it yet. It was supposed to be the solar palette, solar system palette, but I'm dumb and I clicked the wrong one. So that was my fault. Uh, it was a Zodiac palette. My child is more excited for that than I am. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty, but it's very much earth tones. The pretty greens in it. Very pretty. I will use it. I just haven't wanted to. And then I got... The Teresa, the Lethal is Dead, Teresa is Dead collection, because I love her. She is so amazing. She is by far, like, I have three YouTubers that I watch, four YouTubers that I watch, and she's, like, my, she's my number one. Um, she's just, I, I can't say enough good things about her. So, I definitely wanted to support her. That was my first purchase from London, uh, or UK, or wherever they're from, and it, it was really, the quality is pretty good. I like it, um... I, I've, I've only, so, as much as I wanted the palette, I only used it, like, I've only used it once, twice, once. Um, it doesn't mean I'm not going to use it again, it just means I haven't had an opportunity, because the BH Cosmetic palette came in first, the Lethal's Dead palette came in second, because uh, it actually came early, so I was shocked. 
and then a boxy charm and not boxy charm a fedex i was supposed to have my boxy charms they said on the 23rd they did not get here till the 29th i'm like bitches and i've been wanting to sign up for boxy charm for a long time but i i don't know i'm i'm indecisive on stuff like that a lot because i'm like nah, nah. but this this month was um uh, abh themed box for the premium and you have to sign up for the base box first and then you have to do the premium and i was like so i've been wanting to try abh products but i don't want to spend that penny because that's a pretty fucking penny and I was like, um, so we're doing that. Okay, now it's like $300 worth of product, and I spent 60 So I was excited for that. And no, before you're like, well, you know, you have a family. My family comes first. I come second. Literally went and got Danny some really cute clothes. Yes, they're Walmart clothes, but honestly, for us, that is the first time that she was able to have new to her clothes. We usually have hand-me-downs or uh, Goodwill. I still thrift for her because she, even though she hates the 90s TV shows, she actually loves the style, like, a lot. So, before you're like, well, you know, you didn't do for your daughter, the boxy charm is just as much for her as it is for me. Don't get that wrong because she's like, oh, I want that. I'm like, the hell, you no. Know? She actually got the ABH liquid lipstick because I, I hated it. And she's like, well, I want it. I was like, okay, well, this is what it does. She's like, I want it. I was like, okay, this is what it does, but knock yourself out um so before you think that please don't because my family comes first and i definitely come last and i've taken more of a priority in taking care of myself but they still come first we need stuff obviously the house food clothes stuff like that always come first i can want all i want but makeup is either going to be there or it's not and you can honestly find the colors in every other palette so um i do like this one because of how it sits on my forehead I find it sits very well on my forehead. No, I, this is the first time applying it with brown hair, so we'll see how, how I like it. Well, I say brownish because it's brownish. I have to dye it again, but that's okay. Like I said, it was my first time with a brown box dye. A lot of firsts this year for us. A lot of firsts, and I'm okay with that. 2020 was a pain in the ass, scary very scary time but honestly it helped my family we're in a better place mentally we're definitely in a better place financially um i love my job my job is an amazing job um this one is very it's very sheer so i'm building it up because i want a little more coverage so if you like just like a natural your skin but a little bit healthier glowier look then this is definitely good but I like to build it up, especially in my problem areas, because I've decided, my skin's decided, hey, guess what? We want to relive our youth, our teenage years, but not give you that hydration. We're just going to give you acne. And I'm like, I hate my face sometimes. <laughs> not everywhere, but just like right through here. And I'm like, I woke up, like, okay, I woke up. And my alarm went off, so I jerked up. And my hand hit my face, but it hit like a breakout that I didn't even know I had that was the worst way to wake up I was so pissed I was like what the fuck yeah it was not fun not fun for me not fun but anyways 2020 very trying on everybody very scary it, honestly it's still scary guys I'm not gonna lie Adam I wouldn't say minor I would say major kind of freak out and this last week because I just it's still coming and it's still scary but I like to try and focus on the good because I can I present positive but inside I'm very much a glass is half full person um so but we've grown we've you know grown with each other grown together grown stronger you know and this month this last month not this month but last month has been a month of just person buys makeup <laughs> no i'm just kidding uh, it hasn't really been i mean a little bit but not anything too crazy um let's see if i can turn this down on you so you guys can see it 
I'll show you the finished look as well, but I know my lighting is terrible. I'm sorry, but this is the finish. Apparently, I have hair dye on my screen. Fun for me. See, look at that right there. Look at that shit right there. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> my channel is not for children. I'm just gonna say that straight up. It is not for kids. I I have some kids because obviously they're my kid and um. I think one of my, my, one of my really good friends is child. She's more like a sister. So, don't be offended that I called you a friend. Um, her daughter follows me. She actually asked to follow me on TikTok. And I was like, okay, you need to ask your mom first. And I, I was, her mom knows what I post. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing terrible, but. Sorry, no, it just. Nothing like that. I don't have an AF or anything like that. No one wants to see my ass. No one wants to see them. So. I have a few kids, but they have permission from their parents. One of them being mine. And even if I didn't give her permission, she's a stalker. Like her mom. Like her mom. I got this too. Um, this one I got, yeah, I got at the Dollar General. And, um, it's, it's, so it's like my contour stick, but it is a concealer stick. And I like to use it where I need a cream concealer versus a liquid concealer because liquid dries down and it looks kind of, you can see the outbreak underneath. It looks kind of crusty and gross. This one doesn't do that so much. So my cat likes to defer everything. So... I'm not allergic to my cat about allergies. I might be allergic to her dander and I don't normally get that, that close to my freaking nose, but she has other plans, you know, world domination. Cause she's a fucking cat. So I like to do that there cause I find that that works really good for me. And then today we're just gonna use e.l.f. This one is the uh, 16 hour camo concealer in the matte finish. I don't think I have the hydro. I have another one, but I don't. Please hold. That's Milani. I forgot I have this one. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I don't know where. No, oh, fuck. I don't know where it's at. Um, I don't think I have the hydrating one, but this one is fine. Um, no, I don't normally do the triangle thing. I understand you're not supposed to. It, it's too much product, but this girl's not been sleeping so good. So, the more help I can get in some areas, the better off that I am. Um, I've been sleeping. I, I wouldn't say I haven't been sleeping. I just, it's, under, it's interrupted. I don't know. I just feel, um uneasy about a lot of things and uh yeah it's sleep who we don't know her we live off caffeine actually i've been cutting down on my caffeine a fun fact i still take it because obviously i'm freaking cranky as hell i'm drinking a cup of coffee this is the first cup of coffee i drank in a long time like other than like Starbucks and shit, but I don't do Starbucks that often either. It's been a few months. Fun fact, I've, I think I've said that enough now, sorry. Um, I was at, we had a girls day last month, which was awesome. Uh, if the world doesn't shut down again, I highly recommend going to a um, hot pot. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, it's just essentially a soup. And I understand that, and I am not a soup person, but this was really good. It's more of a broth, and I was here for it. But, um, my bestie and I were talking, and apparently Cutter Point has raised their pricing to, like, seven bucks. I'm like, okay, I, lo I love Cutter Point coffee. It's my favorite. It doesn't taste like burnt, gross, nasty coffee. Um, but I'm not paying that. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm fucking cheap. <laughs> And again, I'm sorry, I've exhausted that terminology. I'm out of practice. I'm out of practice, and obviously I don't have the setup for this. So, 
it is what it is. It isn't going to be edited. It's going to go up. Rambles and all. Rambles and all. So I tried to have a family movie night last night. And my kid is a turd. I wanted her to come out and watch. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because it's one of my top five movies of all time favorite. Um, there's very few movies I'll watch and like rewatch. But that is definitely one of them. And I haven't watched it in a bit. And I know she has never seen it. And she's like, Mom, what is it? And she brought her phone out. I'm like, okay, put your phone down. We're going to have family movie night. And she's like, I don't want to. And I'm like, put your phone down. We're going to have family movie. And there was a point I just, I stopped. I was like, you know what? Go do your thing. I'm done trying. She's like, you like this. I don't like it. I'm like, who doesn't like the turtles? The original turtles. Mind you, she's watched the animated version. Yeah, no, she's watched that shit. We watched that a couple of times because she liked it. And then, um, no, I'm just putting a little bit. This is the cover girl one because I forgot I had it. But just right in that hollow point that drives me absolutely insane. Yeah, so she, she didn't watch it. I did. And my husband did. And it was freaking fantastic. The puns in that are amazing. That is so funny. So funny. Casey Jones, I don't care. If you are a bi, a straight questioning person even in the 90s that man was hot that is oh, that dude was hot I'm just saying and then to make things a little weirder some of the turtles had you questioning too it's like just their personalities because I Raphael is actually Raphael and Michelangelo are my favorites um yeah and looking back on my my, my uh, dating pool <laughs> it really reflects I'm just saying well no those two are my favorites anyways and I think I, oh, sorry for the long ramble guys I am so sorry um, I did we did thrift for Danny last month I found a really cool crop top MTV like, like back when MTV was MTV uh, tie dye pink She's not a fan of pink right now, but it was MTV and it was tie dye. I found a Nickelodeon shirt um, that had all the characters, like old school characters, even freaking Cat Dog, which I hate Cat Dog. It had Chucky, Angelica, Reptar, all of them. Angelica, not, not Angelica, but Olga, um, just just all of them. And then a Lucky Charm shirt and a couple other things. There was also like a little tank top that was kind of like a crop top, but it poofed out. Which that was her favorite and I knew it would be. But she's like, Mom, why did you get this? I'm like, What do you mean why they get this? She's like, I don't like it. She's like, These are yours. I'm like, You're right, they are, but most kids would kill to have that shirt because it was like four bucks. I'm like, uh no, you're getting it. We can tie dye it later and make it something, you know, you'll wear. But don't be a dick about it. Like seriously, just don't be a shithead. <sighs> she's very coming into her style what she wants but I will I will dress her in some things or give her some things to wear because like she had a Harry Potter several Harry Potter shirts Star Wars shirts and she's like ugh I'm like are we related how are we how are we related please tell me it comes in an anime I can tell you that is how we're related she's very much very much like me when it comes to anime. This is my um, contour makeup stick. You know, call me Maple. Freaking love this. The colors that we're going to be playing with today are a bit more warm tone. So we're going to look bronzy. I don't do the whole under. I just do my double chin part. Because. Because. Yeah. coffee is because as well well caffeine and that's the other reason I like this is because with the round part it kind of goes everywhere but with the tip here it's more controlled and I really like that for this part of the makeup process really really like it I'm 
I was on a makeup kick yesterday, and I swear to God, my husband's listening to my playlist like, what? <laughs> it has everything from 90s country um, to K-pop and everything in between, like hardcore rap. It has, oh my God, it's, I love my playlist. I do. The, my liked songs. But it just, it was all over the place yesterday. I was like, I was like, oh, that's my jam. <laughs> like Paramore came on yesterday on my playlist. I'm like, hell yes. It is a Paramore kind of day today. I wonder if you do watch this. What was your favorite 90s band? 90s, 2000. Yes, I do listen to more things than the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, am I mad that they're going on concert? And I, I actually, so it's a choice. I'm not going. Um, I could go if I wanted to. Not. I think it's too soon. 100% think it's too soon. Um, I was look, thinking back. Sorry, my nose itched again. Um, I don't think my bestie and I, we've ever missed a concert of theirs. Like, there, I think we missed one. Like, the very, very first one. And then we flew to California for the second one. We did the California, that one. We did the Tacoma Dome one. Um, and they broke up, obviously. We didn't do any other Nickelodeon tours or anything like that. Because we were fans. It's just, it wasn't venues we could get to. And uh, I'm kind of butthurt about it. Because the last tour, 2019, the Happiness Begins tour, I that was that was everything. I 100% my favorite concert. Not only because of who they were, but um they played songs that they they've never really played before. Uh one of my favorite songs, like actually my anthem is Music's in My Soul. That's not the name of the song, but that's just what I call it. I guess play my music. They they played that and that was like from a Nickelodeon or a Disney like movie. And they, it wasn't even the Jonas Brothers. It, they were, I, I don't know what their name was. Nikki, and my bestie will know, but I don't know. Um, like, that is my favorite song. Like, if I'm in a bad mood, that is the song to play. And uh, they played that. And they played so many oldie but goodies. They didn't play the one that destroys us, because there's one um, great song, beautiful song, but it destroys both me and my bestie. Um, it's a little bit longer. It's supposed to be regarding Nick and his diabetes, but no, that's a no for me. Beautiful song. Recommend it. Don't listen to it if you're in a, in a down spiral and don't listen to it if you just lost somebody. Don't do it. It's bad news. You ugly cry. Ugly cry. But yeah, seriously, I've been to a few concerts. One of my favorites. Um, actually, my favorite. So, now we're going to use something else that came in the BoxyCharm. This was obviously the premium box because it was dedicated to Honest Australia, Beverly Hills, and, uh, yeah. So, maybe H. I don't know. This will be my second time using it. The first time, um, I need to know what sorcery this is because, holy shit, Batman. Holy shit. Like, I don't ever apply it with the sponge I usually just do the brush but even with the sponge it didn't kick up it didn't freak out it didn't do the weird ugly I've got baking flour under my eyes and I'm gonna peel like old plaster from a 70s house trust me yeah one moment we're gonna move on to our brush brush phase I don't have room for them. But, you know, we'll figure that out. Um, the BH Cosmetics was having a 65% off sale. So, these are not all the brushes because obviously I've used the ones that work for my hooded, half hooded, pain in the ass eyeballs already. Um, I really need to wash my brushes. <coughs> I hate washing my brushes. But... This one, it's very, it's translucent. It goes on white. That, I just put a lot on is why that one comes out like that. But, I don't know. I like it and I'm, I don't want to like it, you know? 
because it, I think this one was like 40 bucks when you can get something for five. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. Of course, my nose doesn't like it, and it's not the product's fault. Well. That is literally just my fucking nose. Pain in my ass. And I, I guess it's not my nose, it's the texture of my skin. But it still sucks ass. Okay. And now we have the face part done. Dump the preciouses back into the hole. We don't want to waste that one. I kind of wish it came with like with a powder puff. Um, with as much money as you're spending on it, it should honestly come with a powder puff. It does not. But um, for blush, we're definitely going to be using my uh, Essence the blush. Uh, this is in the shade Beloved. I love that. Literally one of my favorite blushes. Do, do, do. Put it on. I go blush heavy. If you don't know me, you should know that. I definitely drape my brush blush. Blush heavy and um highlighter heavy. So a couple things to note. I want to be beaming from a space and I want them to think I'm the you know, I guess the pig of the party. I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm a pig, but but in fact, I just got that in my eye. I got it in my eyeball, but I got it in my eyeball. Why is that doing that? That's weird. Um, I think it was the brush, but I got it really weird. Mm -mm. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. It's like a, a streak where there's no pigment. There's pigment. It's just the um, concealer and stuff. And then, yes, because I am extra, I like to look like I have the meat sweats. We go in. Um, this is the Lunar Beauty Blush Palette. I do a uh, Sole. And it is a blush topper. And it's a shimmery blush topper. I like to look like baked ham, guys. Baked ham. I'm definitely at the point in my life where I've embraced my fatness. Yep, I'm fat. Is that probably going to change? No. Can I do better? Absolutely. Do I try to do better? Yes. Um, I've been drinking a hell of a lot more water than I normally do. Uh, I normally don't. Fun fact, I hate water. It actually triggers my acid reflux awfully. Um, can't stand it, but I do it because, well, it's better for me than soda. I haven't been drinking soda that much. Um, yeah, I just have been doing better. Will continue to do better. 